Bonjour tout le monde, aujourd'hui c'est le jeudi 7 mai 2020, c'est Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Voici votre classe pour aujourd'hui. Here's your class for today. Uh, in peu de choses de yesterday, um, my other job, my other teaching program I do, I had to upload a file for them. So it took 36 hours to upload, that's why there's no video yesterday. I didn't want to have too many things going on my computer at once. So that's why there's no video yesterday. So what I'm going to do is just re-explain yesterday's word and expression of the day the expression needs some explana explanation so we'll do that as well too a little notch go mo a word say un couteau couteau is a knife voici un couteau dans ma cuisine like i said before i'm going to show you something in my kitchen say rouge je l'aime ça c'est un couteau pour couper le pain this is a bread knife tu vois on appelle ça les dents these are teeth les dents du couteau c'est ça pour couper le pain this is for bread yeah, in case proper pour le couteau. There's a nice proper case for it. Alors ça c'est notre mot. That's a word of the day. Notre expression, c'est cinq lettres, mais c'est un acronym. It's an acronym. It's called CEGEP. CEGEP. It is an acronym. Is um, how do you explain this? So the Quebec school system is a lot different than the Ontario school system. So you're in the Ontario system, obviously. So what you know is that you have elementary school from grade one to grade eight, high school grade nine to grade 12. And after grade 12, really you have three choices to go. You can go into the workforce, you can go to college, or you can go to university. Uh, in Quebec, you have elementary school, which goes up to grade six. You have high school that goes up until grade 11. And once grade 11 happens, uh, you really have two choices after that. You can go into work or you can go to college. Now, college will take you three years to do. And then once college is done, then you can go off to either work or university. So college works in Quebec. There's two ways you can go for college. There's college to gear you towards a job or college to gear you towards university. And then once you get to university, your program is three years long. In Ontario, a lot of the schools are four years long. So it all adds up to be about the same amount of years. I think it's 13 years total. I'm oh, sorry, it's more than 13 years old. My math is bad. But it works at the same amount of time. Just in Quebec, if you want to go to university, you have to go to college first. So it's like a, a pre-university thing. Bon. So that's an explanation of their system. Bon. Now it's a task for Ozuri, our task for today. What I'm going to do today is we're going to be an A1 listening task. Now we did these back in grade 7 at the start of the year, I guess around October. That was this year's class. Last year's crew, we did it as well, too. Uh, grade sixes, you haven't done this yet, but we'll do this as a full unit next year, too. But this is something you can do as well, too. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to put a PDF on Google Classroom. I'd like you to uh, print off that PDF, and then you're going to have to have that handy as this next part is happening. So I'm going to take a, uh, a popular French song right now in Quebec. I'm going to read the lyrics. I'm not going to sing. I'm going to read the lyrics. There's going to be blanks taken on your PDF copy. What you're going to have to do is fill in those blanks after I read them. And I'm not going to repeat the song. You know, in class, we did this before. We repeated it three times. But because this is going to be online, you can just go back and play it yourself. I think I've got 20 blanks taken out. Double check the math for me. But when that's all done, shoot for having done today or tomorrow. Send it to me and I can give you some good listening marks for it. If you're doing your blog work and doing some video work for your blogs, I can get all the other marks. But listening's been hard to come by, but I've got to hear, I've got to see that you can understand spoken French, okay? So, get that file printed off. I'm going to open up my file here, and I'm going to start reading, okay? Quand tu es prêt, whenever you're ready, you've got a pencil, vous avez un crayon, you have a pen, vous avez un stylo, bon. Je commence an A1 niveau, an A1 level. Vulnérable comme un bébé chat. Je suis vulnérable comme un bébé chat dans un parking de centre d'achat. Oh, je suis vulnérable comme un bébé chat dans un parking de centre d'achat. J'ai embarré mes clés dans mon char sur le banc de passagers. Et leur regard pitieux me donne des remords. J'en suis désemparé. Quand une belle fille va passer sur le hood, je vais m'accoter. Les mains dans les poches, comme si j'étais bien relax, comme si j'avais du temps à tuer. Je suis vulnérable comme un bébé chat 
dans un parking de centre d'achat. Ou je suis vulnérable comme un bébé chat dans un parking de centre d'achat. Puis il y a toujours un gars qui connaît ça, le Honda, qui traîne toujours un support. Par-dessous d'un rubber, il va travailler sans compter les heures. Puis il n'y a pas question qu'il lâche sa mission. Même il y a Simonac, persévérance d'homme d'un gros magnon quand l'orgueil de mal embarque. Je suis vulnérable comme un bébé chat dans un parking de centre d'achat. Oh, je suis vulnérable comme un bébé chat dans un parking de centre d'achat. So that's it. If you need to listen to it a second time, go back and listen to it. Fill in those blanks to the best of your ability. Spelling doesn't count. If you spell it wrong, that's fine. You can't spell in any language anyways. Bon. So get that submitted to me. Shoot for having done by tomorrow. Get it to me. I will have that marked. I will record that. Get it all taken care of for you. And there's a listening task. I may do some more of these depending on the feedback. Remember, this is all optional, but everything that you submit to me will affect your grades. So some of you who have been submitting every week, you're doing something. You're doing the Duolingo podcast work. You're doing the blog. You're sending video stuff for your blog. Your marks are going up. It's great. Okay, those who are not doing anything, you're probably not watching this video, so... That's it. Uh, say tupa ozui. That's all for today. Tomorrow we are going to make some cookies in the kitchen. Our cooking class tomorrow. Um, ingredient list. The only thing that I need to go out and buy is shortening. So if you have shortening at home, that's good. If not, and you want to follow along later on, you'll need to go get shortening. Say tupa ozui. That's all for today. À la prochaine. See you next time.